guys, my name is Aiden, and you're probably wondering, why am I not wearing the green jacket? Well, I let Michael borrow it. He's going to be the one doing this interview. I am going to be with the special Marcus Bowen discussion panel. So, let's turn things over to our up-and-coming reporter, Michael. I am mega excited today because today I'm going to be interviewing Marcus Bowen. Who is Marcus Bowen, you might ask? Well, he is the grandson of Chuck Healy, a.k.a. the Stone Thrower. After each of Marcus's responses, our discussion panel will reflect on his responses and give you all of the Glimpse Team's thoughts. In the book, Chuck's mom encouraged him to have a goal and know where he was headed in life. What is your vision of the future? Well, I don't really have a specific job, but I'd like to get a scholarship in either mathematics or an athletic scholarship in basketball. Great answer, Marcus. And now, let's check in with our discussion panel. Thank you, Michael, and welcome to the Marcus Bowen discussion panel. I'm Aiden. I'm Mahmoud. I'm Rianne. I'm Vadita. We agree with Marcus. Getting a scholarship is a great opportunity to get a good education. But getting a free ride? That's not going to be easy. Getting a scholarship is a great way to pay for your education, but they're not just giving it to anyone. They only give it to strong working students or tremendous athletes. So, the message here is clear. Hard work will get you far in life. And back to you, Michael. We're ready for question two. The Stone Thrower book tells us that your grandfather was a professional football player and our research department tells us that your father was also a professional football player. How about you, Marcus? Do you play football or any other sports? Yes, I play football and I was running back and free safety and I also play basketball and lacrosse. Thank you for your thoughts, Marcus. Let's see what the discussion panel has to say. Although you might excel in one sport, it's important to play a variety of sports. Get out there and try new things. Playing sports is a great way to get active, but there's a whole lot more you can learn from playing sports. You learn to cooperate with others. Yeah, being a team player. You learn how to play for each other, not with each other. Different sports means different people and different rules. It teaches you how to be flexible, which is an important skill for the future. Michael, what's question three gonna be? When playing a sport, the main focus is usually winning, but realistically, a lot of lessons can also be learned from losing. What lessons have you learned from winning and losing? I've learned that you have to keep trying so that you do better the next day. Thanks for your honest reply. Now let's check in with the discussion panel. Losing at sports is like getting a wrong answer in school. That's where the learning begins. It's not about getting the answer, it's about how you get the answer. What Vanita means is the process is more important than getting the final answer. In sports, there's always a winner and a loser, but the winning team has to show good sportsmanship to the losing team, and the losing team should recognize what they need to improve on. Okay, Michael, we have time for one final question. The best part of the Stone Thrower book for us is that Chuck Ely is a real modern day role model and all his achievements inspire us. What about you, Marcus? Who do you look up to? Who inspires you? Um, probably my parents because they always do the right thing even though some people don't appreciate it. Excellent reply, Marcus. Now let's check in with the discussion panel. What do you think, guys? In life, we often look to famous people or celebrities to be our role models. Sometimes your heroes can be much closer than you think. Maybe your mom and dad. Or maybe your older brother or sister. Maybe your uncle or your aunt. A coach 
religious leader, or even your teachers. All these people can inspire you to be a better person. So we learned a lot from the book The Stone Thrower, and if that wasn't enough, we got to even meet Chuck Ely and had an interview with him. But even that wasn't enough. We even got to have an interview with his grandson, Marcus Bowen. On behalf of the Glimpse team, I'd like to thank Jail Ely Richardson, the author of The Stone Thrower, Chuck Ely, and especially Marcus Bowen. Thank you everybody for watching. My name is Aiden, signing off. This has been a Glimpse production. Thank you for watching.